Would you I'm like great. a green beer? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> is this cool. is this your water? That is your no, water. That's your water. Great. Okay, we, this is cheers. kind of a liquid zone. We've got waters, beers. I've got coffee. I've got uppers and downers. It's like <laughs> that's very LA. Um, so <laughs> you know Dame Helen, of course. Y'all did a movie together. So we when did. We did. We did a scene. He was together. a vision it's in a... blue when yeah, I saw him right, last. That's right. Well, that's the interesting thing, though. So when you shoot movies with, you know, you don't always have the scenes with the actors. So you don't always actually interact, right? Sometimes. Well, did we Go have ahead. a scene together? We had a scene together on the rooftop. Oh, yes, yes yeah, that's yes, right. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, I remember that one. And, yeah, so we did have a scene together, yeah. but sometimes yeah. you don't, you know, yeah. I've worked with, I mean, I've, you know, been in movies with people I've never met, sure. Mm. I know, I find that crazy. So I started this job, and I started interviewing people, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah, we met at the premiere. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. That's just crazy to just an ignorant person watching the film, thinking y'all are barbecuing after set, you know, like, I don't know, so. Well, there was quite a lot of barbecuing after, uh, after work, thanks oh. to Zach I on, like on Shazam, wasn't it? It was really a family feeling, wasn't it? It was, and this was the second one, so uh, yeah. a lot of us knew each other already, yeah. and he's a very natural leader, so he had, I mean, he just had the best house, too, so yeah, yeah. he had everyone, <laughs> uh, had everyone over. Yeah. Oh, Zachary? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he had the best sticks. He had the pool. Yeah. I want to go to his place in Texas. He has, like, a whole little I heard in Texas. I heard it was a, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, ranch. It's, like, for musicians and stuff, so I'm into that. Yeah. All right, so you were a big fan of Comic-Con, right? Like growing up, like you've been. I was a big fan like of comics, books. and I am from San Diego, where yeah. Comic V Comic Con is held. And that said, I'd never been, and I really? wasn't. Yeah, do you, do you know when it started? I actually don't know. Is it oh. is it around from the seventies and got big, or has it? Did it just come in the I this think it millennium? Came in the eighties. Google Google, 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 Google. In the century, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but you were into yeah. comics, right? I was into comics, yeah, yeah. very much. My yeah. kids are yeah. too. Yeah. I, yeah, are they? What are they? I like? kind of got How them into it. They're six and eight. Yeah. But I just he's obsessed. My actually, both of them are such superheroes. But he's very into Spider-Man, so I took him in and got him a Spider-Man comic book, and he thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, because it looks like just magical, co you know, comic it's, books. It's, it's different than the normal books they have to read in school. So yes, no, yeah. they're very fun, and it's a combo of they're very visual, but then the stories yeah. can be interesting. And yeah, I remember I've you know very impressionable and have specific ones that meant a lot to me. Who were your favorites? Um, I had a lot. There was this one thing they used to do. Um, it was a Mar it was Marvel. It was like a Marvel Christmas special, and every year they would come. This is probably like nineteen early nineties, and they would come out with um, on like an anthology at Christmas time, and like a ten page story, like ten ten page stories involving Wolverine or Spider Man or whatever Christmas theme stories. And I don't know, I really loved That's it. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. I just always love when you they didn't cross know over. No, nope. I wasn't. Even, I didn't know comics <laughs> when I was a kid. I'm trying to get my kids. I think it's cool, but um, wait. We should do a, a green beer toast because um, you were Gawker's sexiest man alive in 2022. Let's toast it up. Look, eye contact. I'm there you go. See, toast it up. If just you don't saying. Mind. Sexiest man. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's a. It's a fun title. How long did you have it? I think it was only about two weeks because <laughs> what? What? They were they truly because they rescinded. You were for like a year? No, no. I, I, um, they rescinded it a couple weeks later and gave it to I forget his name, but like what? I think it was like the it was. They worthy. literally rescinded it. Let me finish. It okay. Was, yes, but because I, the youngest it was like the youngest member of Congress ever was elected to to Congress. I think it's a I forget his name, but I'm pretty sure it's a man. Um, but anyways, they give it to him, and that's worthy. That's more worthy than me. I think that once well, something's been sending. given, you don't take it back. No. I think it was, no. it was kind of joke. I don't know how official the title really is. Okay. <laughs>